Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? Um, I'm doing like kind of like a re-review. I reviewed this bag in 2013. Sure fine, fancy, whole, small, fancy beats. And it's kind of weird. The only reason I'm doing this is out of nostalgia because um, Sure fine has been replaced. The Sure fine brand, I mean, the place we have is still called Sure fine. But I mean, I, the stuff that I serve sure right now is the stuff made in the house. But the Surefine brand like this, like products and stuff like this, is no longer because the place that owns them, uh, Western Family Foods, uh, they shut the warehouse down. They replaced it with stuff from Best Yet, which out of uh, Portland, Oregon, Western Family Foods. And, uh, you know, it says on the back, for over 40 years, Surefine products uh, have been chosen uh, according to our highest Specifications guaranteed our customers satisfying experience. Please try to some of our other Surefine products and enjoy for yourself our commitment to quality and value. I was going to have this with my Thanksgiving, but I only had like that giant yam and stuff like that. So just review. I'm gonna, I wanted to review it by itself just because I don't have too many. Because when they were going out of business, I was going to buy. A, I thought, well, maybe I should buy a couple of Surefine products to review those. I mean, that are not made in the house. I had a deli, that's a sure fine deli, I call it like that, or <clears throat> meat items or whatever. They did have a thing of sure fine fish sticks, but I was not going to pay the same price for a generic as the name, store and name brand. But, I mean, it's still really expensive. And then the Best Yet products, there was one place that posted about be, uh, Best Yet stuff saying that they're going to be a lot cheap. They ain't cheap where I'm at. It's like, just like with the sure find the pop and stuff like that, the best yet pop for half case like five fifty for a half case generic. Where the half case like seven up is six ninety nine, which is insane. But let's try these out. They're wonderful. In time out of time, it's probably like a dollar for this, I think. I don't remember. I've always loved beets growing up. I know Conan O'Brien was doing a video talking about his mom making different types of beets, and he's like, how can you dress up beets? And he did a thing about it. He must hate beets. I love beets. I've always loved beets since I was little. So good. Um, I remember at Burdick's, and I said, well, I like beets of the candle. Why don't I buy, like, the, like the farm, uh, beets at the farmer's place and cook them myself? That's a pain. That was such a pain to butt having to boil them. It took forever to cook them and stuff like that. They were good, but, like, my dad, like, it's just easier to get them in the can. And I kind of agree with them on that. You know, they were good that way, too. But, you know, maybe I should have boiled them. Maybe I should have done something. I don't know. It don't matter. Maybe I'll get them another time try them again. And just, I mean, like, real beets from the ground. I mean, these are still real beets, too, but not processed already in the can. Um, I love them. Yeah, I taught my sister, you know, those have thought that East Halloween, I mean, Thanksgiving. And my sister's not big on turkey. And I did talk to my sister. She's not big on turkey. Um, I got to find out, I got to ask you, next time I talk to her, I ask her, what's the other place she went to that besides Bob Emma's for the Thanksgiving dinner, she didn't like it as much, so she went back to Bob Emma's the next year, I think. Yeah, ask her, what, I can't remember the place, though. I know Popeye's were having a big thing, but I don't think anyone went there. They didn't go there. Um, no, she did, she's not been on pizza, I mean on turkey, so they got pizza for Thanksgiving. I think it's kind of funny. But any day Thanksgiving, just, you know, it's what you make of it, I guess, even though this year has been really horrible. Sometimes it's what you make of it, you know. But I like these, um, I like these real well. I give the Surefine Fancy Old Small Beats a 10 out of 10. I mean, I got, I mean, I bought, they had just a couple of these left. Well, I figured, you know, I figured, well, I'll buy a couple, two of these. And that's it, that's it. I already had the other one. Um. I said I was going to have them for Thanksgiving. I said, uh, I'll just do a separate review. I reviewed these back in 2013, but I was doing a bunch of <clears throat> different food reviews back then. Uh, I think they're really good. I love beets. 
And uh, maybe at some time I'll try to maybe microwave them or something like that, or do something different. Um, if I buy beets at the farmer's market or something like that, not canned, but, you know, from the ground. The ground up. As Southern Martin would say in Live Wire. I gotta watch that movie again. I can't remember if I liked it or not. It was uh, Southern Martin and Dirk Benedict, I think. Let me look on TV. Now, I mean, that was one of the ones Paragon had, like a big, uh, when Paragon, the video company, said going in different directions. But before they started, they had like a big thing of Paragon's trailers and stuff like that. And they had like a big thing saying like, uh, not intended for, you know, because they had like gore and violence and stuff like that. Well, not live, well, I watched PG, but I mean the other ones. Because it was like, um, because they were famous. Oh, well, they were famous kind of for having a couple of gory. They had Gates of Hell and they had Funeral Home, which wasn't very gory. They had Boarding House. Um, Alien, oh, Alien Examination, one of my favorite movies. Navy vs. Night Monster and stuff like that. And Livewire. Let me look up Livewire. When the hell was that made? Probably in the 70s. They had the Mickey Dolan's movie, uh, Night and Stranger, too. Most title matches, Zach, yeah, Zach title, Livewire. Yeah. Why is it 14? I wonder if they don't have it. I'm going to look up Strother Martin. Maybe that'll be better. See, I'm going to see. I go all over the place. This is going to be a lot longer. It should be. But, I mean, these are great. The Strother Martin. I believe that's who it was. Yeah, it's probably the same one. Yeah, Strother Martin. Here we go. An actor slap shot. Okay, here we go. Let's see what. I think it was called Lyra, unless it was retitled. Wow. Up in smoke. Yeah, from Lot. Yeah, Great Scout. Oh, that's a great movie. Great Scout and Cat House Thursday. I heard people talk about it. it was a great movie. Paper Moon. Yeah, the one with all the S's in it. Huh. I don't see it. That's weird. Takes the thief. I don't know where the heck is that. It wouldn't be that old. But it don't matter. I'm getting off topic. So, hope you like this review of uh, Surefind uh, Fancy Extra Small. No, Surefind Whole Sauce Fancy Beats. Until next time, bye. Please take care of my legion. Take care, everybody. I love you all very much. Yeah, it's sad. I mean, I might have some other Surefind products, maybe. It might be just some frozen vegetables I might have in my freezer, and that might be about it. But, I mean, you know, I have, like, stuff bought in-house. Or in the deli section, I already made, like, those uh, pepperoni pizza pierogies. Those were good. So, I hope you liked the video, buddy. Till next time. Take